द शार्ट साइटेड ब्रदर्स इज ए चाइनीज स्टोरी शार्ट साइट मीन्स अनेबल टू सी डिस्टेंट ऑब्जेक्ट्स क्लियरली लैकिंग फोर साइट इज अनदर मीनिंग इट इज एन इंटरेस्टिंग फोक टेल द ग्रिपिंग नैरेशन ऑफ द स्टोरी एक्साइट्स द रीडर थरोली द स्टोरी हैज ए सडन ट्विस्ट एट द एंड एंड द सडन ट्विस्ट सरप्राइज द रीडर let us enjoy this chinese story the short sighted brothers once there were three elderly brothers all the three brothers were very short sighted they were living in a large house on the outskirts of the city in china one day the youngest brother suggested that he should take charge of the finances finances is a fancy word for financial matters in other words things having to do with money he says that the elder brother's sight is so bad that he cannot see how much money he is receiving or giving he also expresses a doubt that people can take advantage of his disability the second youngest brother starts speaking in such a way that shows no respect he says that if their finances should be handled by the one who has the best sight then it is he who should be given charge he also says that he can see better than either of them the eldest brother has his own doubts and he wants to settle the matter once and for all he has heard the monastery is putting up a tablet inscribed with a saying above the main doorway that night he suggested them that they should go there that next day and test their vision here tablet means a flat piece of stone with words cut into it whoever can read the inscription with the least strain on the tablet will get charge of their money in this way they wanted to take the test to prove their Mm, better i said than the others all the brothers agreed to this proposal and went to sleep as soon as they have gone to sleep the eldest brother goes secretly out of the house and reaches the monastery where he meets a monk you know monastery is a place where monks live and monk is a member of a religious group living away from public the brother asked the monk whether he could tell him what the inscription reads which they were putting up over the doorway and you know inscription means words that are written or cut on something the monk replies that it's a quotation from confucius Confucius is a Chinese philosopher and the inscription reads be honest at all times the brother goes away laughing quietly at his cleverness a little later the second brother also arrives there he also asked the monk the same question whether he could tell him what the inscription reads which they were putting up over the doorway the monk explains in the same way saying that it reads be honest at all times the second engaged brother asks one more question whether there was any decoration around it the monk replies that the tablet has a flowery border the second brother goes away very pleased with himself hardly had he gone when the third brother arrived there he too inquires about the inscription and on being told what it is he asks if there is any other writing on the tablet the monk answers that there is only the donor's name is written and the donor name is wang li at the bottom wang li's name is inscribed here we can understand that all the three brothers suffer from the same disability that is short sightedness 
none of the three brothers really understand the true meaning of the inscription that is be honest at all times the next morning the three short sighted brothers make their way to the monastery they go near the entrance the oldest brother says that he can clearly make out the writing and he reads be honest at all times the second brother appreciates that his right is better but definitely not better than his own and he asks whether he could see the decoration around the inscription the eldest brother does not understand what decoration was there the second brother victoriously says that there is a floral decoration all around the tablet in this way the second brother proves that he has better eyesight than the older one the youngest brother approves and praises the second brother saying that it is very good but he asks both of them whether they could see any other writing on the tablet besides the inscription the faces of the eldest brother and the second brother become pale they don't know what is written at the bottom of the tablet they ask what it is the name of the donor wang li says the younger brother pointing if they could not see that which is at the corner just then the monk they had talked to the previous evening comes out of the monastery and walks towards the short sighted brothers he says he is so sorry for not putting it up the tablet the previous day evening he also says that they are going to put it up that day the short sighted brothers realize their foolishness they also realize that they could read actually what was not there so what do you understand from this story always remember honesty is the best policy thank you